Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I will be showing you how you can perform web parameter tampering attack on some of our uh, buggy applications or those applications which, which helps us in practicing our web application penetration testing skills. So without getting any delay, let's start. So guys, I will be showing you this attack on a juice shop application and if you don't know how to install juice shop, uh, I made a simple video uh, which is around 3 minutes on how to install it in an easier way. You can check that out. And uh, so previously in that video I had shown you how you can install it and how you can access the scoreboard. So now let's come to the web parameter tampering attack. So what happens basically is, so this is really simple. So what happens is we will be trying to tamper the variables. So which are also called as parameters on the fly. Suppose let's think, uh, so let me show you a clear example on how you can tamper the data. So tampering is nothing but you are changing the value in the fly. Okay, so I turned on my burp, uh, I turned on my proxy guys and I'm having my burp suit, uh, which is professional edition, but you can uh, try this even out on uh, normal community edition as well. So guys, uh, and the one I'm demonstrate, uh, demonstrating here is so there is something called uh, zero stars. So what? Uh, so the challenge here is to give a zero star feedback to the store. So I will show you how you can do this, and I will also show you on another application which is uh, like a real life scenario. So you can access the customer feedback here. Let me intercept this off uh, for the time uh, for some time, and then we'll intercept this on uh, when we need it. So it is giving it is taking the feedback as anonymous. I'll give a comment as workshop and the rating here is uh, I think it's uh, one star by default okay uh, so we can't go we can give zero stars but I will show you how you can do that and here it is asking of the captcha which is 14 the answer and now let's intercept uh, let's in intercept this request simply click on submit and uh, guys let me forward this and guys you can see here our request here so, so this is a post request and you can see the host you can see the user agent and guys if you don't know how to use burp suit i made a detailed and a free course available out there on udemy you can check that out i will provide you the disc uh, link in the description so here you can see some stuff you can see the origin you can see the connection you can see the referrer and you can see the cookie language and some stuff here and at the uh, at the bottom you can see some json format uh, formatted string uh, which is having the captcha id which is captcha and the comment as well uh, as whom we are giving this and we can see the rating as one so let's try to tamper this so as i told you previously we'll be tampering the values or we'll be tamp tampering the yeah we call it values or names or anything else on the fly so on the fly refers to that as uh, like in the man in the middle or in the burp suit so let's uh, try to make this zero and let's forward this request let me forward this once again forward all let me forward all the requests and uh, yeah let me intercept off for a while and if you reload this page or yeah you can see here we had given a zero star feedback so what i did was really simple i intercept the request and i tampered the values of the web uh, values of a variable uh, which is named as rating to from 1 to 0 so the reason why this attack exists is only uh, client side management okay so what happens is this data is only uh, there is only one copy of data that to on the client side so uh, because of this most of these attacks will happen but nowadays what ha what's uh, happening is both the client and the server has a copy of the value so you can even though if you tamper the data on client side you can can uh, tamper the data on server side so uh, these types of attacks are not possible so and guys i will be showing a real life scenario so this is how you can solve this challenge okay on juice shop and there is another uh, buggy web application which is hosted out there on internet which is called at zero.websecurity.com uh, or you can simply search for zero bank you will be getting this link this is also related to OASP and uh, let me log out and let me uh, show you 
so this is how the application looks like guys simply sign in uh, with the default uh, credentials username and the password is password so let's wait and yes you can see uh, this is a pretty normal bank page okay but this is too buggy okay uh, you can easily tamper the values out there so uh, what i'll be showing you is uh, there is something called transfer funds a section called transfer funds so from account uh, from savings to some account let's take to credit card okay so we are having a credit uh, like a balance of thousand dollars and we need to uh, uh, we we need to pay 265 dollars for our credit card and uh, let me make check my intercept is off yes my intercept is off and i want to pay only ten dollars okay uh, since i'm poor so let me uh, hit continue and here you can see uh, we are paying amount ten dollars and let's think that our amount is deducted so what i'll be doing is uh, i'll be intercept i'll be intercepting this particular request which i'll be submitting right now let me click on submit and as soon as i hit submit uh, let me forward this thing yes you can see a a request from our bank page which is a post uh, post format post type you can see the user agent and stuff a pretty random stuff cookies and stuff so what i'll be doing is this is there is a, a parameter called account amount so i will be tampering this parameter uh, let me make it 10000 okay so let me forward this thing let me forward all of them me forward all of them and let me intercept this off and you can see that i tampered my value from ten dollars to uh, my initial aim is to pay ten dollars but uh, i paid roughly uh, ten lakh one lakh dollars so that's how guys uh, you can perform web uh, web parameter tampering and as i told you this attack is not so common nowadays nowadays okay and uh, when i known i think it's in 2011 or 2012 uh, there is an e-commerce website in india uh, which is from my place uh, named as flipkart and uh, that website used to have this kind of problem and uh, a researcher was paid like uh, so much amount of money for uh, identifying the bug okay so that's how guys you can attack web parameter tampering and if you are having any doubts or if you are having any queries regarding not only this topic on ethical hacking or anything else you can join my discord server and you can seek for support there we are having good amount of people who can help you out there and also if you uh, find anything difficult in this video make sure you make sure you comment it so that i can help you out and if you like this video make sure to like this and uh, please comment uh, how you felt this and also please share this video to your friends who are really interested in learning cyber security and web application penetration testing so guys that's everything for, day, for today this is satvik signing off